Hi, for those of you who are missing, missing March Madness, we have Temple of Aaron Bracketology. That's right, we have ranked different things we're doing Shabbat Kiddush lunches, which we already have done, whether it's aired first or not, is TBD. We also have Temple of Aaron fundraisers. We're gonna go through our seven fundraisers, not including Rain Wilson and BJ Nova coming up August 16th, something to look forward to after this virus is hopefully flatlined and gone away. And what we are doing here is rank, we've ranked them with different seeds. Mel <laughs> Brooks gets a buy. We'll talk about that in a minute. Down here, Aaron Sorkin and Rob Reiner versus Richie Lewis. On the other side of the board, we'll have Jason Alexander as the two seed versus Mani Bialik. Josh Radner as the four seed taking on the mighty Mrs. Maisel duo, um, Rachel Brosnahan and Kevin Pollock. So we are going to go through the Brackets, we went through algorithm voting throughout the entire country to figure out who was the greatest of all time in the Temple of Aaron fundraisers. So we're just going to easily put Mel Brooks. He was uh, a pleasure to have. Uh, Mensch, you can check out his PSA that he came out with yesterday with his son. Mel Brooks was an incredible night where he did his stand-up live on the Temple of Aaron. Um, Bima, he made fun of me for a good 15, 20 minutes. Sit, sit down and talk. It was an incredible night, historic night for the synagogue, and I think for Mel as well. Um, and then we have Aaron Sorkin versus Rob Reiner's a two-seat over Richie Lewis. Uh, while Richard Lewis took place at Temple of Aaron, so there's a special feel there, he was filthy, uh, which some of us loved. Uh, maybe your rabbi loved it, maybe he didn't. And Aaron Sorkin and Rob Reiner was just a fascinating conversation about two titans and giants of film and television. And we're gonna go staying on course with the two seed here, Aaron Sorkin and Rob Reiner. We're just going with the S and the R, so we don't have to write it. Uh, and they will play in the final form. I'm gonna hand it over to my colleague, Rabbi Miller. All right, and so now on this side of the bracket, we have Rachel Brosnan and Kevin Pollock versus Josh Radner. So for me, it was kind of tough. I really did love uh, How I Met Your Mother, and I would really, really want to pat this, but you just can't take down this Titan, this group. And even though I had so much difficulty saying her name every single time I made announcements from the Bima, I still think that we need to put Rosnahan and Pollock here, so we'll just do B and P. And then here, Jason Alexander and Mayim Bialik. So both people were on fantastic shows, of course, with Seinfeld, and then Mayim Bialik here uh, with Big Bang Theory, and has also done so much more. And perhaps in an upset to some of you, not to me, uh, as a Vegan, so a big supporter of Mayim Bialik as well on this. Mayim Bialik is going to take uh, this round versus Jason Alexander, and that's our upset in this first round. And then we're going to now break down our final four. So we have Brooks versus Sorkin and Reiner, Brosnahan and Pollock versus Mayim Bialik. So Mel Brooks, I wasn't here for it. I'm not going to try and sugarcoat this. So I may have a little bit more sway in this one. I was around for Sorkin and Reiner, and so therefore, in an upset, in the final four, we have Sorkin and Reiner over Mel Brooks. Sorry if you're upset about it, but not so sorry. And then, over here, Brazahan and Pollock versus Mayim Bialik. Again, I think it's also maybe the reason that it's coming out this way, is we were able to have two different types of talent coming and really adding to it. And so, taking down Mayim Bialik, we have Brazahan and Pollock, and I'm going to turn it over to my colleague for the final. So this was a, a tough battle, both at the O'Shaughnessy, where again, if I'm plugging again, Rain Wilson and B.J. Novak were, will be. Uh, they were incredible conversations. Kevin Pollack did do a bit of comedy stand-up for the VIPs. We had incredible uh, opening acts, including uh, Cap Perkins here. Uh, and uh, Joni Morosky was the opening act here for Sorkin and Reiner. They were just incredible, incredible evenings or afternoons and got to spend time with legends of screen and comedy and writing. And so after a lot of consideration, the millions and millions of fans who wrote in with their vote, we are gonna choose that it was a buzzer beater. You decide at home, comment on the bottom, tell us who wins, you decide, and the winner gets free parking forever at the Temple of Aaron. We wanna wish everyone a wonderful day. Stay safe and stay sane and stay healthy, bye.